Well, cheers to Stu for today's early races. I'm going to start off with the Grand Steeplechase de Paris, which is a pretty good race to get underway with. It's a grade one. Let's have a three mile and five furlongs. And at the top, we've got Hellas, Force Two Grey, Insatiable Forest for Greg Allen, Lord Kestrel, David Robertson, Silver Dollar, City of the Gold Cup winner for Leon van Rensburg, Solo Blanc for Craig Allen, Square DJ, David Robertson, Banks of the Nile, Leon van Rensburg, Cape of Pears, Darren Thompson, Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sutherland and Green Tea for David Hooley. So quite a small field for the city, expect to be a few more in this, but maybe one or two have gone for the Moore's Millions final instead. And ten of them called in and away. And Dawn of the New Age is the first one to poke its head into the lead with Cape of Pears on its inside as they make their way down towards the first of 24 fences that they've got to take at this oi toy track and it's Cape of Pears who's the leader now as they pass the winning post couple more circuits to go and Cape of Pears for Darren Thompson in the lead from Dawn of the New Age second and the rest of them then virtually all in a line as they continue on this longish run to the first of the 24 obstacles in front of them and Cape of Pears has got a clear lead of two lengths with the rest of them virtually together as they get over number one and then all safely over that including bat marker Solo Blanc but it's Cape of Pears who's the leader by a battle length to dawn of the new age in the black and red hoops in second as they get to the second and over that one they all go all jumped it safely with green tea and the purple jacket on the far side now just about the bat marker alongside the Gold Cup winner Silver Dollar City. I think this is his first run since that race at Cheltenham. But it's Cape of Pears who continues to lead as they take this sharp turn towards the third with the Grey Lords Kestrel now moved through into second. And Dawn of the New Age is third with Banks of the Nile in the Blue Jacket fourth as they get to the third. And over that one they go, Hellas was a bit untidy. And let's now shuffle towards the back of the pack with green tea and Cape of Pears is taking them along at a steady pace as they get over number four which they all negotiate okay with Cape of Pears clear by two and Lord's Kestrel's in second then Solo Blanc and Insatiable Forest Stable companions running together third and fourth for Craig Allen then Banks of the Nile and the Blue Jacket with on its inside Square DJ second runner for da um, David Robertson and then on its near side as they take the water, Joshua Sutherland's Dawn of the New Age. And the Gold Cup winner, Silver Dollar City in the blue with a yellow cap. With green tea in the purple and then the second grey is the back marker, Hellas, for Stu Grey as they get to the sixth. Which they're all safely to the other side of. We'll jump in nicely. And Cape of Pears continuing to bowl along with a three length lead. From Lord's Kestrel back in second and in Sageball Forest is third. Dawn of the New Age on that one's inside is fourth. And then comes Silver Dollar City making a bit of a forward move as they get over number seven. There's still a long, long way to go. And they're all safely over number seven. And racing away towards the eighth. With the Cape of Pears for Darren Thompson, a clear leader. And the first of the two greys in the field, Lord's Kestrel. He didn't take that one all that well. And has seen the lead down to little more than half a length now and Lord's Kestrel going up on its outside Dawn of the New Age a clear third as they take that soft looking plain one with Hellas still the back marker but no more than a dozen, a dozen lengths or so off the lead with Cape of Pears then taking this big ditch now over it they all go they've got just about two more miles still to go and they've still got more than half of the jumping to do and Cape of Pears over number 11 in the lead from Dawn of the New Age has now moved into second. Solo Blanc has moved up on the outside of Lord's Kestrel, just giving that one a bit of just being that one being given a bit of a breather by the jockey, I think. As it's dropped back to fourth, but still seems to be going well enough within itself as they take the twelfth. And a mistake, what a faller! Banks of the Nile's gone. I was about to say a mistake. Banks of the Nile hit that one hard. It looked like the jockey was gonna stay in the plate, but he couldn't hang on. And he's gone, so that's one of Leon's head. He's still got the gold cup winner in mind. And it's Cape of Pears who continues to lead them by four lengths. 
to Dawn of the New Age second, Lord Kestrel is third, Solo Blanc is fourth, Green T has moved through into fifth, Silver Dollar City behind that one, then Square DJ as they take the 13th, good jump there by the Grey Hellas at the back, saw that jump past Insatiable Forest and Square DJ and move alongside Silver Dollar Sizzy, but it's Cape of Pears over the 14th in the lead. From Door of the New Age in second, Lords Kestrel third, Green T four, Zono Blanc five. Difficult to pick a winner out of these at the moment. You wouldn't rule anything out really. A cape of Pears has been in the lead all the way. There to be shot at really in the lead by about two and a half to three lengths. To Door of the New Age in second, over this water jump they go for the final time. And now they'll go out on a final circuit and Cape of Pears. Leads by length to Dawn of the New Age in second. Gap of three then to Green Tea and Lords Kestrel together. Then right behind them, Silver Dollar City on the outside. The Craig Allen pair on the inside as they jump that one. Then Hellas and finally Square DJ the back marker. As they begin to make their way towards the final mile on the business end of the race. And Dawn of the New Age has now come through to just about showing the lead on the outside. Cape of Bears might come out of this turn back in front though. As they take the next, they land together the leading pair. From Green Tea third, Silver Dollar City cruises into fourth. Then Insatiable Forest and Lords Kestrels after that one. Then comes Solo Blanc, Square D Joan, finally Halas. And inside the final mile now and Cape of Pears leads over the 18th by about a neck. And then the next one comes up pretty quick and a better jump there by Dawn of the New Age. Sees it come alongside Dawn of Pears though, battling back. And Cape of Pears now then back into the lead again as they come down towards the next. Here comes Silver Dollar City cruising into it on the outside. He's coming into it quite early. There's still six furlongs to go and there's still a good four or five to jump. It's Cape of Pears in the lead then from Silver Dollar City on the outside of Dawn of the New Age. As they get over that big ditch, it's probably between these three but Green Tea is trying to run on so too is Lord's Kestrel Insatiable Forest looks a bit flat footed so too does Solo Blanc over the 21st they go there's just three more to take then now they're racing down towards the final three fences in the Grand Prix de Paris and it's on the inside Cape of Pears Lord Kestrel's now come through to chance Silver Dollar City's not finding a lot of the pressure as they come down towards the third last over it they go and it's Lord's Kestrel who lands in the lead Lord's Kestrel from Cape of Pears in second Door of the New Age is third, Silver Dollar City fourth, Green Tea's trying to run on, they swing for home. The Gold Cup winner's got work to do. Insatiable Forest is trying to come round the outside. It's Lords Kestrel, though, still in the lead. Lords Kestrel by about a head to Cape of Pears, who's battling on. Then Dawn of the New Age and Silver Dollar City gap back to Insatiable Forest and Green Tea. Down towards a second last. Over it they go, and Cape of Pears gets over it into the lead. Here comes Dawn of the New Age now with a restrained run. And now also Silver Dollar City's coming back into it again. It's Dawn of the New Age on the outside of Cape of Pears coming to the final fence. Over it they go. Dawn of the New Age lands in the lead. Here comes Comes Silver Dollar City now trying to put a run in. There's still a furlong to go. It's Dawn of the New Age in the lead. Silver Dollar City's beginning to close. Dawn of the New Age needs the line. Silver Dollar City's getting closer. Dawn of the New Age still in front. Here comes Silver Dollar City, but Dawn of the New Age looks like he's going to hold on. And up towards the line, Dawn of the New Age wins it. Silver Dollar City's second stage will force third, then Solo Blanc and Cape of Pears and Green Tea. And all the way back to Square DJ. And the Gold Cup winner couldn't quite last. The extra three furlongs will have to be fair to him. He looked like he was coming back into it at the end. Dawn of the New Age, though, a good win for Joshua Sutherland, who is the expect to be crowned as the champion trainer later in the week. Silver Dollar City for Leon Van Rensburg was second, and Craig Allen in his final week took third and fourth with Insatiable Forest and a solo long-time leader, Cape of Pears, for Darren Thompson was fifth. <laughs>